Hey, what's going on everybody? So, I thought today I would show you how I rebuild my shocks. So, see this is your shock for the older savages. So, you pull it down. There's your retainer. With that, your spring comes off. Now, I'll show you what a dead shock looks like. So, as you can see, nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens. So, I don't think you should really have to use any fancy tools for this. Just crack this open. And I gotta find a spot to dump this out. Mmm, that lovely sound. Okay, let's put that over there. So, we have our emptied shock. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. So what I do, since there's these little stops right here, I'm just gonna gently grab some pliers, put them right here, and I'm going to simply unscrew. And since that stop is there, I'm not going to be hurting the shock shaft. So, that comes out. Your stop comes out. And then you grab a 10 mil wrench. That fits onto here. That busts it off. Now, your piston shaft pops right out. I'm going to take the extra stuff off. Okay, now, this is how you get your seals out. I just grab some tweezers and I just gently pop them out. There's a seal, spacer, It's almost out. Spacer. And if I can get it, there's another seal in here. Where should it be? So, to clean everything, what I do is I, you can really use a lot of stuff like Nitro Clean, um, Simple Green, Mean Green. That's what I'd recommend. So, after you get all your stuff cleaned, I grab your uh, piston and see how it doesn't move? What I like to do is I loosen the nut right here. And you want your piston to spin freely, but no movement. There you go. Spins freely, no movement. So, to save time, I'm just going to move this all over to the side. And here's all of my cleaned up parts. So, what I do is for this is for my front shocks. So I have some Team OC Racing 35 weight shock oil. Now, oops, I'm gonna put the seals in. So I have some red and tacky grease. You can really use any grease, I think. So just going to. Put some grease on your seal, and all that does is it protects it from when the uh, shock shaft goes in. Okay. I'm going to put the seal in. Spacer, same thing. Put some grease. Put that in. More grease. 
put the seal in, the last seal. So, here's your uh, cap. I don't put it on or I'll tighten it just yet. I just loosely put it on. So, okay, so grab our shock oil and we're just going to put a little dab on the shock shaft. Then we're going to, why am I having such difficulties? There we go. And see, when you have uh, some excess grease, it just pops out on the end there. So, can wipe the excess off. And now I go ahead and tighten the bottom cap. Bam. So with that, we're going to grab our stop. Put that in. Put this on. I go just till the thread stop. Now for filling it. How am I gonna show this? I can't. So we're gonna put our fluid in. Now, the last thing in the world you wanna do, in my opinion, is fill it right to the top and you're gonna think, well, why? Well, if you overfill them, you're not gonna compress your shaft all the way. It's going to stop, say, for example, like, right there. And it won't be able to go any farther because there's nowhere for it to go. So it's either going to squirt out and make a mess, or you're just not going to have good performance. So what I do is I fill it, if you can see. It's really difficult to see, probably. I fill it until it's able to go right up to the top. And then... So once this is at the top, I fill it all the way till it's flush. So let's do that. So the shaft is all the way up as you can tell, and the fluid is filled all the way up to the top. Probably see. So now I pump it a couple times, get some of the air out, and then some people say like let it sit for like five minutes or something? No, screw that. I let it sit for like a day. So I'm just gonna let that sit there. I have one shock that I've let sit for probably a day and a half, so all the air bubbles are out now. And what I do is I put that to the top. Then I put my cap on, and you shouldn't really need to use any tools just hand tight because it is a plastic shock just a little bit of rebound I'll put this on whatever you want to call this then a spring then a retainer and then the preload clip and bam. Very nice feeling shot. See, I... The Savage has really primitive... Sh uh, primitive, I talk. Shocks as it is. But I find... Like, I used to think for a while the stock shocks were garbage. And today's standard, I would say... Well, not the best, but... This feels really nice. So, here's the Savage. Another th tip for your suspension. You don't want your suspension bar. Look at that. Look how free that is. So that's another key tip for excellent Savage suspension. I don't know if you guys care to see. That's a uh, shock stand, car stand. 
slash parts tray I made in my senior welding class. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's how I build my shocks. Try it out for yourself.